take a deep breath in. And as you breathe in, breathe in that slow, long, relaxing breath. Breathing in a wonderful feeling of relaxation. And as you exhale, give permission to completely relax, particularly around your eyelids, eyebrows and forehead. And as you breathe out, feel a sense of calm and tranquility expanding around your eyes. Notice with your eyes closed how much easier it is to become more aware of the sound of my voice. That when you breathe in, something chimes with your unconscious mind. A frequency is resonating as you find it oh so natural to drift into a state of pure relaxation. On the next inward breath, just decide to breathe in slightly deeper than you did before, breathing in even more of that relaxation. And as you breathe out, elongate the outward breath so it feels like any echoes of tension, stress, worries, any anxiety, even from a long time ago, feel like they're leaving your body in that outward breath. And notice that the deeper you breathe, the more relaxed you become. And the more relaxed you become, the deeper you breathe. But also notice how your imagination is awakening like a dormant volcano. I want you to use the power of your imagination to imagine being on a ridge overlooking a forest and a lake and over there in the distance is a mountain not just any mountain I want you to imagine a specific mountain that also happens to be an active volcano. Maybe you could imagine staring beyond a lake and a forest to the rocky skyline of Mount Rainier. Although it's an active volcano, This volcano hasn't erupted for 125 years. So just imagine seeing the tranquility of the mountainous volcano. See those green trees going on for miles all the way up towards the side of a snow-capped mountain. Notice the stillness of the lake. And as you breathe in and breathe out, feel that all of this nature is simply taking you deeper and deeper relaxed. As you stare into the mountain, you can't help but think how many thousands of times during its life has this volcano erupted. And I want you 
want you to imagine what it would feel like to go back in time 125 years and imagine witnessing its last major eruption. Maybe you could imagine seeing a flume of smoke, ash clouds bellowing from the mouth of the volcano. Perhaps even imagine seeing red-hot molten lava spewing from the volcano, slowly descending into the forest beneath. And I want you to get a sense, a sense that something powerful is happening in this eruption. Almost like the earth has decided there is something deep within that doesn't belong on the inside. It needs to come to the surface. I want you to imagine that something is being erupted from this volcano that wasn't meant to be on the inside. It was meant to come to the Earth's surface. Just imagine that thing being erupted from the volcano and landing in a nearby lake. Imagine going forwards in time to the present day and just imagine how you would feel to start hiking down the ridge towards the lake. Imagine this is no ordinary lake, but a healing lake. There's something about the minerals in the water that means this lake can heal. So imagine swimming in the lake, feeling that the lake is doing what a healing lake would do. And imagine swimming under the surface finding something that was erupted 125 years before. Imagine going to the bottom of the lake and seeing that thing that was erupted, getting a sense that it needed to leave the earth and happen to end up in a healing lake. swim up to the surface with a sense that the body much like the earth is an organic system a system that finds a way to do what's necessary and I wonder what you would like to see erupted from your body or see erode and dissolve into nothingness. So just imagine drying off on the side of a lake, still looking into the mountain, feeling that the healing water of the lake is still doing exactly as it should. Notice how relaxed you feel as you breathe in and breathe out, staring at the snow-capped mountain, perhaps miles off into the distance, and yet, because of its size, still feels close. Breathe in and breathe out as you open your mind to new ideas. As you start thinking about the tumor within you, that is no longer desired. Imagine your tumor as a gray, porous sponge that is gradually dissolving, becoming smaller and smaller with each passing day. 
and you can visualize the tumor shrinking and eroding. Just like a sand castle washed away by gentle waves, disappearing bit by bit. And maybe you can imagine your immune system as an army of diligent workers breaking down the tumour and carrying away the debris, leaving only healthy tissue behind. Or maybe you can picture the tumour as a small, inactive volcano where any unnecessary material is gently expelled through your skin, leaving your body clean and clear. And it's not just that you imagine the tumour becoming smaller, feel like it's becoming smaller, like a melting ice cube, dissipating harmlessly into your body. Breathe in and breathe out, feeling the healing air of nature going into your body as you envision the tumour shrinking into nothingness, dissolving completely as your body heals and regenerates. Maybe you can think of your immune system as a vigilant guardian, recognizing the tumor and working tirelessly to dissolve it into an ever-decreasing size. Sometimes that gray sponge may feel like it's a beacon of light glowing. And I want you to imagine the tumour as a sponge in water, soaking up positive energy and shrinking as it becomes saturated with healing power. Visualize any remnants of the tumour being expelled through your skin as harmless particles. leaving you feeling lighter and healthier. I want you to think of the last time that you saw a grey cloud in the sky on a sunny day. And I want you to imagine the tumour as that grey cloud starting to dissipate in the sunlight disappearing as your body becomes stronger and more vibrant. Feel the tumour is eroding away, like a piece of chalk rubbed down to nothing, leaving only healthy tissue in its place. That porous sponge is shrinking dissolving. There are some materials that dissolve in water. I want you to think of one of those substances. Tissue paper doesn't last long in water. An ice cube doesn't last long in water. But I want you to think of the tumour more like a sugar cube in warm water as you imagine it becoming smaller and less significant, dissolving into nothingness. I want you to imagine that if your body feels that any part of that tumour can come through your skin, then maybe you could imagine a small volcano forming that might form 
through a small spot, a scab, some kind of pus that leaves your body, and that this is healthy and natural as a vehicle to release unnecessary material through your skin, cleansing your body in the process. Imagine your immune system as a powerful wave washing over the tumour and breaking it down into harmless, meaningless particles. Or maybe you think of it like a balloon slowly deflating, becoming smaller and smaller until it vanishes completely. But as you imagine the tumour shrinking, becoming smaller, simultaneously you imagine yourself becoming healthier, more vibrant, with more vitality. Imagine it dissolving away like sugar in warm water, disappearing as your body absorbs the healing energy. Just feel it eroding away, like a stone worn smooth by the sea, leaving only healthy, vibrant tissue behind. And as you imagine it becoming smaller and smaller into nothingness, feel increasing levels of gratitude for all of the support and understanding you receive. Feel that nutritional choices that you make are helping to break down the tumour. And every positive thought, every positive emotion is just chipping away at the tumour, making it smaller and smaller, dissolving it into nothingness. Think of a candle that's been burning. Eventually the candle gets smaller and smaller until the flame eventually goes out because there is no more wax remaining. And as you imagine the candle in the very location of your bump, imagine it getting smaller and smaller as your body heals and regenerates. As it does so, you feel like you're becoming more grateful, more energetic, with more vitality. As you realize you're not on this journey on your own. There are people that are supportive, encouraging, understanding, and that with their support, the tumor gets smaller and you feel there is a trade-off. As the tumor gets smaller, your life becomes richer, happier, full of gratitude. I want you to think as you look at that mountain how many millions of people have been left in a state of awe at the magnificence of that volcano? What was a violent, dramatic event 125 years ago is now perfect scenery and beauty. And feel that sometimes moments of drama can lead to moments of beauty, moments of stress and anxiety can lead to moments of peace, tranquility and gratitude. It's all happening for a reason and you feel 
increasingly optimistic as to what your future will be and become and who you will become while you're on that journey. Breathe in and breathe out. Get a sense your body knows what to do. You're just helping it along. And everything will work out fine. Now it's time to return to the present moment as you take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes. Connect fully with the present moment. As I now count from 1 to 10 to awaken you. Each number bringing you to a state of alertness. And solidifying these powerful suggestions and ideas deep in your unconscious mind. Starting to count to awaken you. One, two, three, waking up. Four, five, six, more alert. Seven, eight, open your eyes, open your eyes. Nine, ten, wide awake, wide awake, wide awake. 